Uh, this time I'm using Twitch Studio uh, instead of OBS because for some reason uh, Streamlab just was very unhappy and would not work with me anymore. It wouldn't let me actually start the stream again and I have no idea why. Uh, so maybe this one will work a little bit better. Maybe it'll be more reliable. Um, and we'll see. Please do let me know if this is working any better. If you can hear me, if you can uh, see, there, see if there's like a stutter or anything like that, that would all be really helpful. Um, one second, let me check on Discord for a sec. Okay, well, um, the preview certainly looks more promising. Um, when I was using Streamlabs, there's quite a bit of... Uh, oh, hello, Runesun, welcome. Uh, hello also, Les. Good to see you, Les. All right, um, yeah, but the, the preview in Streamlabs was uh, really, really janky, really slow, very chunky. Um, and so I, I never felt really confident that it was working very well. But here, using Twitch Studio, um, it seems like it's going pretty smooth. I'm hopeful that the experience for you is a little bit smoother now, too. So please do let me know if it is working or not. Uh, again, doing a little charity stream for the current Humble Bundle. If you go check out the Humble Bundle, uh, I'm playing games from the bundle right now to try to raise awareness for it to uh, help raise money for COVID really. So check out the bundle. This game, Into the Breach, is part of the bundle right now and there are a lot of other really great games that are worth uh, chipping in the money for. Uh, I still can't tell also how long the delay is. I, I don't know how the, what the latency is, is currently like. Um, all of the little indicators in Twitch Studio are green, so I think it's working okay. But um, all, I, all I can really do is keep going, I think. So I'm gonna try to keep playing, and we'll see if, uh, if, if anyone can let me know if this is working or not. Uh, but in the meantime, let's jump on in and have some fun playing Into the Breach. So uh, when we left off, I was explaining that we have these little areas right here um, where the the sort of alien bug giant monsters uh, are coming into the world at. They're spawning there, kind of digging up through the ground. If we put one of our guys on top of it, it will block it, but it will also damage our guy for doing that. That's not ideal. We don't want to do that. Um, but we do, do want to try to prevent the Vec from spawning if possible. Well, that also works for putting the enemy on top of our space. So right now we have this guy here. He is... Uh, potentially endangering this particular city to the side there. Um, I can start just by knocking him out of the way. So if I use this mech tank, uh, the cannon mech, I can shoot it with my gun and I press one and I can see, yeah, it goes in either direction all the way. It's the first enemy and it knocks him back by one. So if I click that, there we go. It breaks the sort of threat on the city and now the, um, the, the little bad guy is out of the way. Um, now, I could shoot from here with this guy, the with the artillery mech, um, and what it would do is it would land it right here. And this is good because, uh, well, it, it wouldn't do anything for the spawning mech, unfortunately, but you can see it will knock the other guy out of the way, essentially knocking him into the mountain that you see there, and then it will uh, damage him, looks like by, by one damage. Um, if I was to hit him directly, though, I wonder if that would make a difference. So if I move over here and I try to shoot him like that, yeah, it's the same thing. It'll it'll shoot him for one damage either way. So let's just hit him from here, do him one damage, and since we've taken a turn with all three of our mechs, we are good to go to the next turn. So end turn. We'll see what Vec actually come up out of the ground. All right, so we have another scorpion. We also have something new, little squid looking guy. 
Okay, so right now, these rockets are about to take off. You can see right now, uh, my tank is actually in the danger zone. It is about to be damaged uh, or potentially killed from this rocket that is taking off. Hey, Red Fox, I see you. I'm still really curious what the latency is like, how long of a delay there is, but at least with Twitch Studio, it seems much, much happier with uh, the quality. And please do let me know if it is any better for you. All right, so uh, priority one for this is to protect our rockets. We need to keep our rockets from being damaged. We also need to protect our mechs, so I need to get this guy out of here. And then we also need to protect the city. We can see that there is this guy right here. Uh, the Vec is about to spawn and pop up through the ground. Oh good, I'm glad that you heard my response quickly. So yeah, Twitch Studio is seeming so much better right now. Uh, a little bummed that I lost all my customizations that I was playing with in Streamlabs, but it might just be that it's not meant to be for this particular computer. And if that's the case, that's okay. I'm just happy to be able to give it a try. All right, so there might be a way for us to be smart here um, to knock this guy. I, he only has one health left, so if I damage him in any way, he will die. Uh, I was going to say I could try knocking him down one and then he'd you know, be over top of this uh, Vex spawning tile, but I don't think we even have to worry about that at all. Um, this Blast Scion is granting a passive bonus. All Vec will explode on death, dealing one damage to adjacent tiles. Oh, wow. Okay, that's interesting. Um, that seems kind of dangerous, actually, especially with these cities around. I might want to deal with that very carefully. Um, okay, so here's what I'm thinking. If I blow up this guy, if I kill him right now with my tank, it will blow up, which will damage my tank. It will also damage the city, which is big bad. Um, so I think what I want to do is I want to try to move him out of the way without actually damaging him and then let the uh, spawning Vec do the damage. And I think if I if I can move this guy out of the way, which I can, uh, unfortunately I think I just have to move him totally out of the way. I can't really do anything with him, but that's okay. I'll move him there. And if I use this guy now with his artillery, I can not put it there because you see the range uh, is too close. But if I move him back like that, and if I shoot it right there, haha, we are going to be able to move that scorpion out of the way without damaging him. On the next turn, the Vec will pop up out of the ground, damaging him, blowing up, and maybe even damaging this guy as well. Uh, we will see. All right, so our city is no longer in danger. This guy is keeping the Vec from spawning, which is excellent, and he will be damaged. Okay, now what about these two guys? So this is a problem, but I might be able to knock him over here, causing that guy to get grabbed instead. But no, I don't have enough range. Unfortunately, this is one of those cases where I, I might not be able to protect this rocket with what I currently have going on. But just to help, Maybe get a little bit closer. I'm going to move this guy up here. Out of the damage radius of the rocket taking off. And unfortunately, I think that's all I can do. I, I can't shoot anything with this guy. So I think I just have to end my turn. Oh, hey, Runesun. Uh, is Big Mac able to get beside the scorpion at the bottom that's attached? No, I was hoping so. Yeah, um, continue, nope. Uh, yeah, no, the, the, the range was too short on him. We are just starting out, brand new game, so they don't have any upgrades. Their range is still very, very short. So I think there's nothing more we can do. Let's go ahead and end the turn. It says I still have guys that can act, but um, all they can do is shoot and punch, and they don't currently hit anything. So yes, continue. Okay, you saw we got some experience points for that, um, popping up out of the ground too, killing the guy. Whatever that Vex sprang, it locked the servos. Oh, you see, yeah, because it, it grabbed and sort of netted, webbed the, uh, the tank there. 
Um, I can still attack, but I cannot move presently. So I think this will work. If I hit him, he's going to go back over there and bust up the, um, you know, keep that guy from popping up out of the ground, which is great. Uh, if I uh, move into the space, it's currently in danger because we saw earlier when it gummed up the works with that tank, uh, it was about to attack there. So currently that is a danger zone. If I move my mech there or anything else, it will not be very happy. Um, what I could do though, he only has one life left. I can use this guy to do the same thing I did last time. Just pop this guy back on top of the spawning Vec, which in theory should prevent it from spawning while also killing this squid looking dude. Um, this guy will probably not be killed by the uh, spawning guy coming out of the ground, but that's okay. Uh, and then do I have range? I mean, I could... See, if I punch him from here, it will damage the rocket, which is big bad because the rocket only has one life left. If I punch him from here, then uh, it, it'll knock him, you know, he'll be, the tank will take damage on the next turn, which is no good. Um, if I go here and punch, then the spawning guy will still happen. So unfortunately, I think I'm still in another spot where I, I have a dude, but I can't really do anything with him. So I think just to prepare, I'm going to move him down there and just end my turn. Hey Runestone, have you played this game before? Or have, have any of you played this game before? I uh, It's been out for a while. I've, I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, I was saying at the beginning of the stream, uh, Runestone, I, uh, when it first came out, I was coming off of uh, FTL, which was one of my favorite games of all time. And I felt a little bit disappointed just how inflexible this game seemed initially be because of the, the, it really is a puzzle game. Because of the nature of how this game works, I didn't feel like it had as many customization options as FTL did. But uh, as I played it and kind of got into it, I realized there are, are lots of things you can unlock later lots of other ways to make it more interesting, but it, it's definitely a different game than, uh, than FTL. All right, so I have my artillery guy, one of my favorite guys. Um, what I could do is move here, push that guy out of the way. I could kill the guy too, because it's not a big deal. Uh, he's not gonna blow up anymore. So, um, I think what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to try to be a little bit creative. Uh, if I move the artillery here, shoot the artillery shot there, it'll move the bug down one. And then if my tank, or my my mech... Oh, my mech can't make it. I was going to say I could get here and push him into the ocean. Because that's always... Oh, here, I can do it this way. If I come down here, and I punch the bug, to go like that, and then I get my artillery dude over here and then shoot the artillery like that if you didn't know this bugs hate water apparently so that completely kills the bug and then yeah there's only one HP left on this guy so I can just walk right up and shoot him all right we are cleared for takeoff let's end the turn all right Mission complete. I've dreamed of launching those satellites into space my entire life. It's amazing to see old Earth technology still surviving, or still serving its purpose. All right, so our mech pilots are happy. We made it through without getting injured. Uh, we got some, H, uh, some XP that we can use to upgrade things later on. Uh, we did also protect the civilians. They're very happy, and that comes into play later on as well. And we did get the two stars. So Fox, I, I saw you said that you have not played this before. Uh, I know that you like to play Sims quite a bit. Uh, what other games do you like to play? Or is it mostly mostly Sim stuff? That's totally okay too. Nothing at all wrong with that. All 
right, so I'm looking here at the options we got. So this one will grant a star and a power. Uh, and the power grid up here, as you can see, when you reach zero, you lose. So this is kind of like your uh, campaign health bar. When you run out of power, game over. So we want to get this up um, because we're a little bit low right now. You start off being not fully maxed out, so that's okay. Um, the corporate reputation lets us per uh, purchase supplies. So we're not quite there yet. Um, I'd like to make my way over to this one with the two stars to get even more of the stars available. So I think I'm going to take this one to kind of creep my way over and grab that two star one. Fox also likes House Flipper, Detroit Became Human, the Persona games, and the Tales games. Interesting. Mmm, yeah, JRPGs. You know, House Flipper is one that I looked at. I, I saw some people play it. I, I've watched uh, you know, people on YouTube play House Flipper quite a bit, but I haven't ever played that one myself. That might be a fun one to get into too. Is that one that you can do uh, multiplayer or is that strictly single player? Like I kind of see that being like the uh, Viscera cleanup detail where you flip a house with someone, go through and clean up, fix up. That could be fun. Oh, only single, bummer. Yeah, that's okay though. Now I think I've heard of the Persona games, but I, I don't know that I've heard of any of the any of the other games that you mentioned. I will have to check those out. All right, well let's move on to this one. We can get a little preview of what we got going on here. Uh, Old Earth produced massive quantities of explosives. This region is littered with uncleared ordnance, so watch your step. All right, so we have some spots to avoid on the map. Uh, I can imagine that we're going to be knocking Vec into those spots to take advantage of it. Um, potentially. I'm looking around because I brought one of our kitties up here, and I saw her up here just a moment ago, but I don't see her here now. Well, if she makes another appearance, I will be sure to bring her out. Uh, you said Detroit has been big lately. Hmm. Jacksepticeye. Interesting. Uh, what kind of a game is Detroit Became Human? Become Human. Or is that two different games? Shows you how little I know about this particular game. All right, so for the bonus objectives, if we end the battle with less than four mech damage, we'll get a star. And if we protect the emergency batteries, which look like they're up here to the north, uh, northeast, uh, if we keep those from getting damaged, then we'll also get the little uh, power grid bonus. Ah, Detroit is a choice-based RPG, cool. Uh, there's actually a game that I am looking actually in the Humble Bundle. Um, I wonder if... Yeah, so Twitch Studio is grabbing my entire screen, or not, not my entire screen, but just this window, which is typically fine. But in this case, I'd really like to be able to show you the Humble Bundle website. You know, again, since this is the the tree stream trying to encourage people to check out the humble bundle um, if you go to the humble bundle website which i'll put another link to just in case we have any new visitors checking it out uh, if you donate 20 dollars or more you'll get all of the games that are on the list one of the games in particular um, that looked really interesting based on what you were saying uh choice based rpg type thing is bury me my love uh, I was reading about that, and uh, in the little description there, it mentions that it is a um, a Syrian goodbye phrase that roughly means, take care, don't even think about dying before I do. And uh, in this game, you're playing it like you are messaging your significant other through like a WhatsApp or something like that. You're sending them messages and video or, or pictures and different things. And it's also a choice-based sort of game as, as you're flipping through and, you know, 
that there are multiple narrative routes to discover. I think that would be really cool. Um, lots of potential to play together as a, uh, a stream. Lots of friends in the stream to, to check that out. So that, that could be really cool uh, someday. It looks like it's only Windows available, so I cannot do it right now. But uh, but I have it now, now that I got the bundle, so I'm, I'm looking forward to checking that out. All right, well, let's kick off this mission. All right, so we have the Vec in place. We have that Scorpion again, as well as the Scarab. So remember, the Scarab is kind of like the... Um, our artillery it'll shoot over one space the scorpion will walk up and sort of grab and then damage something with its net um it looks like we can place i'm, I'm thinking we should put the mech right here because um we don't want to have to walk through these ordnance tiles the tank is a little bit complicated um but i think i want to put it on the front line as well because i don't want to have to go around uh, all that stuff over there. However, the artillery, maybe I will put this over here just to give us an option, just in case something does get up there. I don't know. Um, I'm not, not confident this is absolutely the right choice, but we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll try it. Hey, Nighthawk, welcome. Thank you for coming by to check out the stream. I'm very happy uh, that you're here to check it out. And uh, yeah, I've appreciated all the streaming you've done as well and the feedback you've shared along the way. Uh, it, it's been really helpful for me uh, as I'm thinking about getting started, uh, being able to hear kind of what you've learned as you're just brand new starting out. Um, yeah, Red Fox, exactly. Nighthawk. So anytime I watch Nighthawk, um, I, I have got come to appreciate the, the end of stream raid where we will go and raid Runesun because we'll get the, um, the Nighthawk raid. Uh, which is always fun. Uh, oh, and it should go without saying, but also thank you, Runesun. I, I spent uh, a fair bit of time talking to Runesun about streaming before jumping on and taking the plunge myself. So uh, just to be absolutely explicit, I greatly appreciate everyone who has supported me and uh, just been willing to talk about what's worked for them, tips and tricks and things like that. Let's go ahead and jump in. Let's 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 confirm. Our mechs are on the ground. We'll see what the bugs do before we jump in. Hit them hard and fast. Okay, so the scarab jumped into the front right here, and it is shooting across over at the batteries. Remember, we'll get the bonus to the power grid if we protect our our batteries. So let's let's make sure that we can do that. We'll knock that guy out of the way. Um, currently. The other Scarab is actually uh, attacking me, but notice how they're lined up here, and my guy is melee. This is going to be pretty easy. I can punch this first guy, and not only will he take... Uh, well, let's see. No, actually, he'll take two damage, I think, for my attack, so that might be all that it's required. It might just knock him out, but then I'll need to... Ooh, I see something we can do here. Maybe. Maybe. It depends on the range of this guy. I, I don't want to pass through it, so I can't. I can't go that way. If I could, though, I could knock, um, I'm trying to point my finger and you can't see my finger. Um, oh, thank you, uh, Buggy. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. It's good to see you here. Um, I was thinking originally I could move my artillery to the middle right here and then pop a, a, a big artillery shell in the middle, which would block this guy or pop him over into the ordinance, blowing him up uh, real good, and then knock the other guy over here. Uh, to block that spawning point. Uh, obviously, I don't want to do that, though. So let's think about what my other options are. Um, I could shoot this guy back, but if I do that, it will damage the city. Uh, obviously, friendly fire is frowned upon. So that's no good. Hey, Tack! Welcome! If you didn't know, good friend Tack here has a stream. You should go check her out. Um... <laughs> She is one of the most talented digital artists I've seen. Um, I don't, full disclosure, I don't watch a ton of digital artists on stream, on uh, Twitch here, but if you enjoy watching someone draw uh, Sphinx cats, also uh, things with tentacles, frequently Sphinx cats with tentacles, uh, then that is most definitely the stream that you will want to attend. Uh, she is extremely creative, very talented, 
and it is just pure entertainment to watch her go through and draw and doodle and uh, kind of pander to the uh, the chat as we're going through and making the most ridiculous suggestions. Right, exactly, Rune Sun, exactly. Cats and tentacles. Hey, uh, uh, Buggy, since you're here, would you mind just pasting a link to Tax channel? Uh, just to make it super easy. I don't have it handy and I don't have any uh, uh, bots with like, you know, little exclamation point commands or anything like that. So uh, I don't have a tack command yet, but please do uh, paste a link in for me. Tack, I wouldn't say anything that's not true. So I am being kind because I am honest How about that. All right, well, let's see what we can do here. So I, I can knock this guy out of the way. Friendly fire is no good, so that's not a good option. I could come over here and knock him there, but that's no good because uh, I think it would it would blow up the ordinance, which wouldn't be such a big deal, but then it would knock him into the other city, which is just as bad. So instead, let's go a different route. Let's start by taking this guy, and let's just punch the first guy. Um, that's about the best I can do, because if, if I go here, it will damage uh, the, the, the mech when they pop up out of the ground. If I punch the, the scarab from here, it's going to damage the city when it goes and knocks into it. So I think, I think that's what I'll do. I'll uh, punch him from here with my fist. Bam. Oh, and it did knock into the other guy. I wasn't sure if it was going to, but uh, because they were close, when I punched the first one, even though it killed him at the same time, it did knock into this other scarab and take one HP out. So that is excellent. Thank you for the lurk, Nighthawk. Alright, so let's use my tank to... Let's see, what, how, what is my range on my... Uh, artillery here. That's that's about it. That's a bummer that I can't um, kind of get around this corner because I'd really like to, you know, go along this side here, but I can't make it there. So I think what I have to do, I'll, I'm going to move here, shoot the bug, the scarab, to take him out, protecting my mech in the process. Um, and then I think what I have to do, I still don't know how to protect this part of the city without damaging without damaging my, my dude. Because if I move it there, how much damage will this deal me? Any unit, oh, oh, it says any unit that stops on the space will trigger the mine and be killed. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it's, I can move through it, I just can't stop on it. Hmm. And it will be killed. It's not like it'll damage it. It'll entirely kill it. Okay. Well, that makes a big difference. Um. Hmm. Okay. Well, in that case... In that case, here's what I'll do. I'll move here. I will... Shoot this guy with the artillery, taking him out. Very good. And now I have room with the the um, cannon mech to jump in and move this guy. I'll, I'll shoot him, which should knock him over into the ordinance that's on the ground. Boom. Okay, so you see what I mean? I, I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, the thing that I really like this game, the thing that I like about it is that it is really a puzzle game. It's one of those games where you can stare at the screen for a long time and kind of play it out in your head. And then once you see the way it works, you can go through and, and make all those those moves at once. Cool. All right, so we still have two guys spawning. I don't have anything else I can do with my mechs, so let's end the game. And so unlike the other one, the previous mission where... Well, that was a stupid move back. You just moved on to the, the landmine. Okay. Um, well, unlike the previous one where we had to wait for the rockets to take off, on this one we have, you see here it says, victory in three turns. So once we hit three turns, we have successfully defended 
uh, the, the the space, the the land that we're in right now, and we're kind of good to go. So let's see. We have the scorpion. It currently has my dude captured, um, which isn't such a big deal. Not really. Um, I think what I want to do. I don't know what the order of operations is. Like I don't know if the the guys will pop up out of the ground and then attack, because if so, I could try moving him here and then push the scorpion up one to the side. I guess my video is reversed or something, because it's going to... I'm looking at my little preview of the webcam, but it's uh, I'll push him in that direction, which could put it uh, in attacking the, the, the guy that spawns out. I guess there's only one way to find out how that works. Um, but I wonder if I have an opportunity to punch. Punch first, and it doesn't look like it. So maybe I'll, I'll start with that. I'll come over here. I will shoot right there. Bumping them to the side, putting the space in danger uh, for the spawning unit. Um, now, well, I wonder, I bet I get damaged if I walk into fire. Light units on fire. Because okay. what I'm thinking is I could... Yeah, this might be even better. I can come here. I will shoot this guy from behind. Which will damage him. And then also put him on top of the Vec who is spawning. I like this plan. And I think just to prepare, I'm going to move my other mech over here to be ready for whatever happens with this last remaining Vec popping up out of the ground. All right, let's end the turn. Aha, so it blocked the enemy, which is great. We have one fewer Vec on the board to have to, to mitigate. And it did damage the Scorpion for one, so it is down to just one life. Now we have a lot more coming in. Victory in still two turns. Uh, our poor cannon mech continues to be the target of yet another scorpion, but that's that's okay. Um, this seems like an easy choice for this guy. Uh, I will shoot the scorpion. Um, why is it damaging me if I shoot though? You see that it, it says uh, if I. It says it will damage me by one if I shoot the scorpion. Huh. I'm not sure why that would be. I would think that it would um, not damage me, but damage him instead. Hmm. I'm not sure why it's saying that. So let's, let's take a pause to think about what else we might want to do. We have our excellent artillery mech. Um, we could easily pop this guy out of the way right now. I could also just run up and punch him, which is always a good idea, I think. Um, but I, I like the idea of pushing someone onto one of these other spawn tiles to keep there from being quite so many people on the board right now. So I think I'm going to take a risk. I don't understand why it says there's going to be a damage here, but I'm going to give it a try anyway. Oh, there it is. Okay, so the problem was that I tried... I was in a different mode, I guess. Yeah, okay, so this is the preview. This is telling me by looking at the, uh, the hovering over the character, it's saying that this is what's going to happen on the next turn if I don't take some action. It's going to, to damage me for one. So let's shoot it, damaging it for one, and then knocking it onto the spawn tile. So that will block it and also damage it for one. Um, that guy's no good. I, uh, I don't... I can't do anything about that except move him out of the way. I could punch him with this dude. And I suppose that's that's not a bad idea because uh, it would just kill him. And that's that's what I'd like. Let's, uh, let's run over and punch him. I kind of want to be over by these two though, just in case. But I think between my artillery and my tank and the range of the, the punchy punch uh, mechie, I should be okay. So move here, punch this guy, taking him out. All right, and then just to be prepared for whatever happens, I'm going to move this guy down into the forest tile. And I don't want to shoot, so I will end the turn. 
Alright, so that scorpion blocks the enemy, damaging it for one. My artillery is currently threatened, the cannon mech is currently threatened, and then this is a new, a new bug we haven't seen yet. This is the firefly. Um, so the firefly is essentially the cannon tank, the cannon mech. It shoots in a straight line that goes infinitely in one direction, uh, stopping only when it hits something. So if I were to like move this away or something, it would still be threatening the city on its turn. It does have three life. Uh, if I could loosen the... Yeah, okay, so right here, I could move this over, knock him out of the way, protecting the city. That wouldn't be the worst thing. And I could punch it, which which is always good, of course. Um, but what can I do about rescuing my mechs? Because I don't want my mechs to have any... Well, I want them to have less than four damage, but, you know, no damage is even better, of course. Um, well... Why don't I start with... I can use my cannon right now to knock this guy off. Why not? I'm not convinced this is absolutely the, the best move to make right now, but I'll do it. And we'll see. And then I could use this guy. Ooh, maybe this is an idea. I could use this guy to shoot an artillery right there, which will damage the other two scorpions, but also knock him out of the way. Not a big deal since it will still damage this city right there. But then I can walk up with the mech and possibly take it out. I like that idea. Let's give that a try. Very nice. Okay, so now with the mech, the mecha mech, let's jump up. Oh, it still only has three though. So what that means is I made a mistake because um, I can walk up and punch it and it's going to deal two damage but then it's going to hit the batteries right there which will make it rather make it rather unhappy. Um, I wonder how much HP our batteries have. Um, I think just one. So unfortunately I might have to let this attack right here happen just so that I can um, take out the, the thing um, later so it doesn't take out my battery power. Well, I don't like that, but uh, I, at least I can still punch right here, take out this guy, and I'll end my turn. 33 casualties, so that's a bummer. But mission complete, not quite as good as the previous one. Um, and it, it's even more of a bummer because when the uh, the casualties, you know, you saw it was like, we lost one power. So we gained one power, but we lost one power. So it all kind of worked out to be uh, not worth a whole lot. So it would have been the same to lose the uh, the batteries versus the, the one casualty. But yeah, bummer, but it's okay. Still getting XP. Looks like our uh, our main uh, Mecha Mecha dude, Red Fox, is about to level up. Probably on this next mission. Uh, the other two are just a little while a little while away. All right. Uh, just one, one second. I'm gonna see. I hear some yowing. I'm gonna grab the kitty real quick. This here is Navi. She is potentially not very happy at the moment though, so we may not keep her here very long. She doesn't usually hang out up in my office, but I thought maybe she would like to be a stream kitty. Um, she has special medication because she has diabetes, so we have to give her little shots uh, mornings and nights, give her special food to make sure she's taken care of. So maybe over time, I can give her her food and her shot up here in my office while I'm streaming, 
and then she will be chill and happy to sit up here. But for now, she maybe she's she's okay as long as you're petting her. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> we named her Navi because when we got her, she was uh, a little bit older than a kitten, but you know, still pretty young, and she chirped and meowed and mewed and just made noises and grunted and whatever for any little thing that, that you can imagine. If you, if she saw that you were looking at her, she would chirp or mew at you. Um, if you start walking towards her, she would chirp or mew at you. Um, just now, when I went to, to get her because she was standing at the door, um, she just gave me a mouthful of, of meows and nips and things. Um, she was a little unhappy about that, but she's still that way. She's a very vocal kitty. But I am going to let her go. I don't want to keep her here. She doesn't want to be here. So one moment, I'm going to go take her out of the office and I'll be right back. All right, back minus Kitty, sadly, but you know, maybe over time she'll be more chill with it and okay. All right. So what are y'all thinking about this game so far? Um, I'm glad that it's working better than the beginning with uh, Streamlabs and trying to get that all set up uh, unsuccessfully. Um, I'm happy to keep going at least through the rest of this continent. I have probably about another hour that I can stream for. Um, I could also try a different game in the Humble Bundle pack. Um, I don't want to be spammy or anything like that, but since this is, I'm trying to kind of put this as a pseudo charity stream. I am doing this because the current Humble Indie Bundle is the Heal COVID-19 bundle. Uh, if you go check it out, donate some money, you'll get a bunch of games and some books and things that are really, really cool. I'm using this opportunity to play through some of these games and hopefully get you interested in them as well. The bummer, the thing that is, you know, maybe not the, gra the, the best about this current situation is that there's only two days and 15 hours left in this particular fundraiser. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to stream again before this next, or before it is over. However, I think this is fun. This, uh, you know, I don't know if, I don't know if my laptop can handle, mu I think games much more complicated than this right now. So I might continue playing Into the Breach, uh, possibly Baba is You, which is another very simple puzzle-like game. Um, Hyperlight Drifter also looked interesting, but it is uh, unfortunately not compatible with my version of Mac, so I, I can't do that right now. Um, but Super Hot was one I've played a lot, so I would love to play some Super Hot later, uh, possibly as well. I think those are the ones that are at the top of my list at the moment for trying from this Mac uh, in, in, in this stream, uh, but I'm open to suggestions, so. If you haven't grabbed the bundle yet, go check it out. Just for 20 bucks, you get a bunch of really cool games. And it all goes to a really good cause. All right, well, let's keep on moving. Hey, Hyphen, welcome. So it's funny, Hyphen. So I, uh, when people on stream say your name, some people say Hyphen, like, like a Hyphen. And some people say hi fun, like hi, hello, fun. And I'm not quite sure which one it is. 
I think all in one word, but not qu- like hyphen doesn't quite sound right, but high fun. I don't know. Do you have a preference? Do you ever say your your screen name to yourself? I think I'm gonna move over to this one here, the Restoration Center. I mentioned uh, when we picked this one, I wanted to grab that one because it is worth two stars, which will give us a better ranking with our corporation. Uh, so I think that's the route to go. So let's let's grab it. Destruction of the dam in this region is a necessary evil. It will create a natural barrier between us and the burrowing Vec. So we have a dam. We are going to try to uh, destroy it. I think that's probably going to be the objective. You know, we have to destroy the, the dam before we kind of get overrun. Um, we get points when we actually destroy it. And if we take less than three grid damage. So again, if you think back to the last mission, uh, we took a piece of one single grid damage when the Vec successfully caused casualties, when they destroyed a building. Um, so we need to prevent them from hitting the cities, those, those uh, civilian buildings, less than three times. All right, High Fun says, it's a long story, but to make it short, you can say it like, Hi, Fun. But then there is a hyphen in my real name. How it came to be. Oh, interesting. Okay. So you're saying you don't have a preference, really. It could be either way. As long as I don't say hi hyphen, right? Because that would be too much. Too much hi. Although we also say hi 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 hi. So maybe, maybe it's not enough hi. Hmm. All right, so to start things off, we have these uh, two Vec. We have the Firefly, which remember can shoot in a straight line. Uh, and we have also have the Scarab, which can act like our artillery, shoot over the top of someone. So I think I'm gonna start just by putting him there. Maybe I'll do like that, and then I like the idea of our artillery being able to kind of go back and forth along the top. I also like the idea of maybe going this direction, so I think I'm going to start by putting it right there. Oh, picking up a time pod. A temporal rescue craft designated a time pad has been landed in our vicinity. Oh, so I need to protect the time pod. I wonder what that is. Uh, I mentioned earlier, I, I've played this game quite a bit, but it's been a few years. And I legitimately don't remember what the time pods, pods are. I'm guessing we get some, uh, maybe some up, maybe another, possibly? Yeah, Hyphen, I know. It's the same people that did Faster Than Light. Um, I really, really liked Faster Than Light. I, I wasn't crazy about this game when it first came out because it seemed too um, inflexible. Like, it, it's it's clearly a puzzle game where you, you, you choose your moves and you kind of go through. I loved the aspect of Faster Than Light in that you could go any direction. You know, you could kind of take the path that you wanted to and you could upgrade along the way. It was very flexible. And I felt like this was very inflexible, but I have come to really appreciate this style of puzzle game quite a bit. So it's been really fun to get into. All right, so you can see here health. So what I could do, he's attacking the city, he's attacking the city. I could walk up and like punch him in the face and damage the dam for one. That might be fun. Punching bugs in the face. That's always fun, right? Let's give it a try. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I do that, though, let's think about this, because uh, the tank is going to shoot in a straight line, and it will knock things straight back. So maybe what I'll do instead... Let me go here, and let me shoot this tank, like the artillery mech over here, and do a combo. Knock them both back. 
I was, yeah, I was hoping the scarab would also then jump over and fall into the, um, the dam, but that did not happen, but that's okay. Now that they're lined up, let's come over here and punch the firefly in the face, doing the damage yet again. Ooh, and I got a level up. Um, oh, I see what I did. So I, I renamed the pilot of the mech to Belaxel. Um, but the mech's name is Red Fox. Oh, interesting. So I, I should go through and update this uh, for some of the other folks who have been active in chat recently. Um, I can go through and rename not only the pilots, but also the name of the, the mech. Hmm, okay. All right, well, we're done with our turn, so let's end it. Uh-oh, so we have another one of those squiddy dudes. Um, all right, this scarab is trying to bust up our tank. Not really a big deal. Um, the blast scion. This is the one that can do... Um, it causes other vec to blow up whenever they get hit. So, not something I'm crazy about, but pretty easy to fix. If I just come over here and punch this guy, he's only two. Bam. This vec lost its ability. Now if I shoot... Very good. And now that's taken care of. And now I think I can use my artillery to... Bam. Oh no, I destroyed the pod. Well, you know what? That would have happened anyway. That was just poorly, like poor RNG. Poor random pod placement on the map because I would have had to blow up the, the, the dam eventually. And then it would have definitely destroyed the, the time pod either way. I wonder if I could have like grabbed the time pod, like if I had uh, stepped on it or something like that. I can't undo, but I, actually I can't undo. I can reset my turn. I can only do it once per battle, but I want to try. I'm going to try resetting the turn to see if I can grab that, uh, the dude, the time pod. Okay. Destroyed if damaged or trampled by the enemy. Collect, yeah, collect with a mech. So I need to get on top of it. Okay. Okay. Let's get it. Retrieved. Okay, very good. So now I can do the rest of it. Very good. Okay, so now I'm not able to destroy the dam on this turn, but I can do that next turn. No biggie. Um, and... Oh, wait, no, I can do this turn, actually, because our artillery mech is not yet fired. There we go. I love that it changes the terrain, too, that it actually modifies the tiles. That, that's really cool. Uh, and fortunately, fortunately, um, unlike the Vec, the Vec, if they hit water, will die instantly. Um, unless they're flying ones, uh, we are big enough that we can actually go through the water. No biggie. All right, so we have some threatening behavior by our scorpion. Um, I mean, I, I think I'm just going to punch it <laughs> because... That seems like a pretty easy thing to do. Oh, I'm not able to punch because I am waterlogged. So perhaps I have to get out of the water in order to do that. That is a problem. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to move this guy over here. Maybe there, just to prepare. I'm going to move... Where can he go? Okay, I'm going to move him now over here, and I'm going to try to knock this guy into the water, because I think that will just knock him out. Woohoo! 
Okay, now I just have two more, but um, the fact that he's waterlogged is a bummer. It kind of makes it a little bit, um, takes away some of our flexibility. But I think I'm going to try to get him like position kind of over here and see what I can do with that. All right, no big surprises. Um, I mean, it, it's it's pretty straightforward, I think, what I can do. I'm going to... Um, um, I, I want to knock one in the water. I mean, it'd be great if I could knock both of them in the water, but I can't currently move with him. I could punch him, and that would kill him. So yeah, that, that'll do it. Very good, and now I can use him to knock him into the water. Yay! Woohoo! Region secured. Thank you, Riftwalkers. The destruction of that dam will delay the Vec while we try to get more mil military technology back online. Hey, Nighthawk. Thanks. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. I, I really enjoy puzzle games like this. Uh, and like puzzle games that you can upgrade over time is, is double fine. Thanks for the hype in chat. Oh, hey, no, look, I can open the uh, the pod and the, the time capsule. What will it be? Pod contents? Auto shields. Building gains uh, a shield after taking damage. Oh. Hmm. So after they take damage. So this was a, uh, a four. You see there's four little buildings in that, that animation. One of them gets blown up, but a shield protects the rest of them. That's That could be really helpful later. Uh, I'm still going to try not to get any damage, though, of course. And then a reactor core. Yeah, so this lets us upgrade our mechs, which is incredibly powerful. All right, are we able to upgrade our mechs now? Yeah, okay. So, here's how the upgrade system works. Um, oh, and I guess I could rename these things now, too. Um, yeah, so I have, I, we have our pilots, and we also have our mechas. Awesome, okay. So, shifty-eyed Axel here uh, is the pilot that we started with. Before we do anything else, Let's grab some names for some of the other people who have been active here in chat. Um, got to include my man Nighthawk, so let's start with that. 1388. Uh, instead of Cannon Mech, he is going to be operating... Uh, he's going to be operating uh, High Fun. Nighthawk operating the Hyphon uh, cannon mech. Um, and then I know that Tack and Buggy were here earlier. So um, let's include them as well. I don't know if uh, which one would make a better pilot and which one would make a better artillery mech. Um, I think I'm going to call Buggy, Pure Buggy, the, the pilot. Uh, because even though it's clearly like some sort of an android thing, uh, I, I just, I just kind of like that. Pure Buggy being the pilot, and then we have, oops, then for the artillery mech name, we're calling you, uh, Tax Art Creates. Wonderful. Okay, so now that we have appropriately named pilots and uh, mechs in place. Let's start talking about the upgrade system. This is really sweet. Um, so the um, these reactor cores are what you use to give your mechs more power, which you then use to upgrade your attacks to give you more uh, options available. You know, like you can see here, if I install this, it's not permanent. You can, you can move them around um, like this. Uh, once you have a reactor core in place, you apply it to something. So you can say, like, man, like it's really tough only having 
um, five health, I can upgrade it to two uh, or plus two to make it seven total. Uh, or I could say, man, like this is actually probably what I'm going to do. Like only being able to move three is kind of a pain when you're a melee. Um, you want to be able to move fast and far and then jump in and punch from whatever angle you need, especially because that's what you use to move them around, those those buggy, buggy creatures. So going in here, I can say plus one move to give them four. Reactor makes my hair stand on end. All right. Um, we also have this passive ability in here. Um, I, I don't know why this is something that like I can clearly attach it to in here. I mean, I guess I might as well just put it on him. I don't know why I would pick this one versus, like, one of the other dudes. Maybe it doesn't matter so much. But you can see here there's other things we can do. Oh, this might actually be really handy, too. In the future, we can make our artillery not damage buildings when we shoot them. You can see that little animation. You shoot the buildings rather than friendly fire, like we almost did in the last match. Uh, we can not worry about that and still pop the other guys out of the way. That might be the next thing that we do when we get another reactor core. But I like this move right here. Being able to move our melee guy more is a great idea. And you can see as you level up, you also unlock these other things right here. So this pilot ability, he's able to get more XP over time and we get more health. Uh, so we're able to take more beatings from our melee fighter, which is always good. When you get more experience here, we'll unlock these for the other two pilots as well. All right. Wonderful. OK, so we will be getting more of those very soon. Um, hello, Blender Bending or Blender Blending. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Um, so we are going to keep going. We're, we're playing right now into the breach. Uh, we are doing this to promote the Humble Bundle right now for COVID relief. So if you want to go check out the Humble Bundle, you'll get this game along with a bunch of other really small games that, you know, maybe I'll keep playing even after the bundle is no longer available. You only have two days to get the bundle before it goes away. And all proceeds go to a really good cause or several really good nonprofits to help the world with COVID issues. All right, but we are doing Into the Breach. We are a good ways into it. We're almost done. I, I believe either this next one or the one after will be the last one, I think. I don't think we, we do all of the, the areas. And then we'll have a, a little boss fight. So we can do Om Town, Om Town, perhaps. Um, end the battle with less than four mech damage. That's usually pretty easy. Protect the coal plant, great. This one, oh, warning air support. That could be fun. And then defensive shields active for this one. Well, I'm uh, air support sounds pretty sweet. So let's give that a try. The pasture. This region has an old airfield that can provide air support. We're new at actually flying these planes, but let's hope for the best. Exactly. What's the worst that could happen? All right. So map looks pretty straightforward. We have the coal plant up here to the uh, sort of northwest. So we got to be sure that's protected, but looks good to me. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we have our firefly. We have the tentacle blast scions that power up the other dudes. Uh, so we don't want this. Ideally, we take out the blast scion first if we're able to. Maybe I'll try putting him up close to the front so he's much closer to jump in and punch the, the Scion. So I'll try that maybe. I think also I'll try putting him to the side. Maybe you can like rush along and shoot from that side. And then again, I love keeping the artillery in the back to be able to kind of cover a wide range, just strafe back and forth. So let's give that a try. Vec infestation detected. Okay, so you can see here now we have these, uh, the airfield, or the uh, the air, uh, the bombing run, airstrike. Um, so it will instantly kill any units that are currently on that spot. So, again, I wish I knew the order of operations. Um, hello, Cater Trib. Welcome. Hello, hello, Raiders. 
How are you doing? What were you playing? This is my first raid. I mean, it's my first stream, so that shouldn't be a surprise, but uh, congratulations, Cater, for, uh, for being my first raider. Ooh, Terraria. <laughs> um, I, I suspect I'm going to have the same problem as you very soon, since I jumped on that $5 Terraria deal. Yeah. Hey, Nighthawk, thank you for saying hi to the Raiders. I appreciate that. Also, Belexel, too. I love for this place to be friendly for everyone. Are you still collecting owls, Cater? Because I remember you had a uh, your your trench coat just lousy with owls in the last game that I saw. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, I I have a, a strong inclination to believe that I will also be addicted to Terraria eventually. I, I do not know if it will work on my computer with streaming at the same time. Um, I'm a little concerned. I, I'll have to go back and watch the VOD for this later. I'm guessing that my uh, that there are like some dropped frames, some little glitches here and there. But we'll see how good Twitch Studio is doing for me. It certainly seems a lot better than OBS earlier. Ooh, Belle, do you do you have Terraria as well? I know um, Tack and Buggy were play are play quite a bit. Oh, and if uh, if you didn't notice, Belle, uh, you well, I guess maybe you saw this before you left, but you are currently the name of one of our pilots. You are currently pil piloting the mech for Red Fox. Uh, Bell's been playing uh, Terraria on the Switch. Yeah, I've been surprised how many how many uh, people I know have Switches and have had really great luck just playing all sorts of great games. That I, I guess I've, I've always been stuck in the mindset that a Nintendo device plays Nintendo games, but the Switch seems to be breaking that sort of mindset quite a bit and offering a lot more options than just Mario and. Uh, Zelda and Pokemon and other really, like really great games. Ooh, Pikmin. Aha, I see what you did there, Hyphen. All right. Well, let's look at this map real quick. Um, so we have the airstrike that's happening here in the middle. It is going to take out the Blast Scion, so I actually don't need to do anything for that. Um, it would be great, though, if I could knock this guy into the airstrike area right here. The problem, though, is that I don't know the order of operations. If I move in front of here with my artillery and then knock it in the way, there's still a chance that it will hit me before the airstrike happens. And I would prefer to avoid that if possible. Oh, I didn't notice this in the, uh, the requirements here. The requirements to get the star for this level is that I must block three Vec from spawning. So that means I need to get on top of one of these spawning spots or one of the other Vec needs to get on top of the spawning spots which would help oh you know what I figured it out here we go so if I move my artillery over here oh by the way the artillery is named uh, pure buggy uh, actually no the, the pilot's name is pure buggy I'm, I'm gonna keep messing these up I'm sure the pilot's name is pure buggy piloting tack uh, and if I move your buggy up here, and if I shoot him over there, there we go. So now he's in the artillery range, and also if he chooses to shoot before the artillery hits, it will just hit the other guy, um, and we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, I do need to block these, though. I don't want to block it with my tank, because that would be... Uh, he only has three health. That's a bad situation to be in. But maybe I'll prepare and just get a little bit closer with my other two... Oh, I don't want to do that one. 
I don't want to move my mech next to it because if it blows up, it will blow up with a big bang. No, Cater, I, I do not have uh, any commands right now. Um, I did see that stream elements popped in to say that what, like when I started streaming, um, but I do not have any commands set up. I'm lucky I even got going today when I did. So uh, I'm still experimenting and trying that stuff out. Um, the thing that I did last time when I wanted to do the tack command was I just asked Pure Buggy to paste in the link for tack's channel. Um, if you do not currently follow tack, uh, tax art creates um, I would highly recommend it because she is an incredibly talented digital artist and also um, non-digital like with paint and stuff as well but when I've seen her do it on stream she does it with her Cintiq or not Cintiq but her like uh, digital tablet thing with the screen and she draws the most amazing um, sphinx cats often with tentacles uh, off, often uh, Octo Tacos is another common theme for the, the stream. So yes, please go uh, follow Tak, help her get to affiliate. She's very close. Last I checked, it was um, within eight. It might be closer to five people now. Yeah, definitely go check her out. Uh, help her get there so we can actually start giving her things and subscribe to her channel and all that fun stuff later on. And then also, yes, Nessa. Um, hyphen, would you like to paste the link into Nessa's channel? Also, one of my favorite people on Twitch. Um, the best artist, uh, able to go in and do amazing, incredible things with watercolors. Um, things that I certainly never knew possible. I can get lost just watching, uh, Nessa draw things on stream. And then the, the crew of people in chat that just hang out. It's such a wonderful community. Lots of love for the people watching Nessa streams. Thank you, Haifun, for posting the link to Nessa's channel. If you like art, that is a wonderful stream to follow. All right, so again, I'd like my, my mecha dude to be a little bit closer, but I can't be on either side of this right here because I'm afraid that when the bug goes boom, it will damage my mech. So I think I will just get slightly closer and call it good. Woohoo! Two dead bugs. All right, looks like the airstrike is happening in the same space again. Um, did anyone notice if the bug, the firefly, damaged the uh, the psionic or the? The big tentacly one before it got hit by the airstrike, or did it happen all at once? Oh, Bell, don't worry. I am not going to get you killed. You are probably the most safe of all of the mechs because you have five health. Everyone else has two and three. Uh huh. All right, well, I do not want this dude to to damage the hole. So I'm gonna take a risk. I'm gonna potentially damage my artillery for the sake of science. All right, so should we take a vote? Like, if I knew how to do votes on here, uh, I could say, like, okay, well, let's take a vote. Should we get Bell killed? Bell says no, Nighthawk says yes. Uh-huh. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something for science, and also because I need to get this uh, block spawning three times. I'm going to move my uh, artillery, uh, attack the artillery, here under that spot right there. I'm going to use my artillery shell to knock the dude, unfortunately, out of the airstrike zone, but it will block the other thing. So it will definitely damage me because it's not going to get killed by this. And that is unfortunate, but I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Yeah, I, I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Uh, for you, for Nighthawk here, um, 
piloting high fun days, I can uh, knock you away by one, which would be totally fine. Uh, I'm not seeing any reason not to do that, so let's do it. Okay, and then with my mecha dude, um, I could come down. I mean, maybe maybe I'll tank the damage, actually. Yeah. Well, well, Bell, uh, I'm I'm not gonna get you killed, but since you are the big tanky mech, I am gonna take the tank the damage uh, for this Firefly to protect, um, to protect Pure Buggy and Tack. So, sorry, but it's not gonna kill you. Probably, it's just gonna be one little piece of damage. All right. So that's okay. Um, no one else can take a turn, so let's end the turn. Oh, Hyphen, are you causing trouble in chat again? Ow! Alright. Well, okay, so the airstrike zone move, that's fine. No biggie. We have to. Ooh, this is gonna be perfect. If he survives, oh, he's not going to survive a hit, though. Well, here's what I'll do. I will use my artillery to set the bug on fire and knock it into an area that's not endangering people. Oh, hi, fun. Uh, actually, that's a good question, Cater. Um, do you see? Did, did you see the link that was pasted in for Nessa earlier? Um, I assumed that it worked because uh, Red Fox said that she followed Tack earlier when I mentioned it. So, yeah. Then, then yeah. Currently, I don't have any bots with no fancy moderation, so I think it can all go through. All right, so the uh, the bug's on fire. It's no longer endangering our city, which is perfect. Um, if I, I I would punch this scorpion to block the spawn tile, but unfortunately, it's just going to kill the scorpion. But I think it kind of has to be done. So good enough. And then, unfortunately, I have victory in two turns. I need to block two more spawning, and. And I don't think it's going to happen because um, I'm pretty sure there are no more spawns after this. I don't think there's any spawns on the final round. So that's a bummer. I could reset the turn, but I don't think it would matter. If I reset the turn and this dude was here again. Oh, welcome, Lucian. Thank you for the follow. We are just playing some Into the Breach. Hi, 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 hi. Welcome, welcome. Um, is there anything I can do on this turn to prevent, or to, in order to block two more spawns on those slots? He was all locked up. I could pop that guy into the ocean. Yeah, you know what? You get one free reset uh, per game or per per match per map that you're on. So let's just give it a try. I, mean, I think there's nothing to lose. Let's do the reset time. See if we can start this turn turn over, turn over. And okay, so I think if I knock this dude into the water, he'll die, and then I can. Oh, here we go. I could intentionally, I could intentionally damage Bell again, um, to knock the scorpion into the spawn point. Unfortunately, Bell might get another damage um, when the scorpion fires if it happens simultaneously. But that would block one spawn point, and then, and then I can move this guy over here and, and again tank one piece of damage. And then I'd get the achievement, or not the achievement, but I'd at least get the, the one piece. 
I'm not trying to kill Bell, but I mean, Nighthawk is very convincing sometimes. I, I don't know. I, I can't help it. We we share we share a bond in our username, you know. All right, let's let's give it a try. So if I move him here, him being uh, buggy and tack, uh, and then let's pop. Oh, actually, that that was the wrong thing. If I move you, how many health do you have? Two. All right. And then, oh, and then I'll move. Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna move Buggy out of the way to avoid the hit and punch right there. Wonderful. And then I'll move you here to block a second one. Okay, so it's not gonna be happy. It's gonna take a piece of damage, but it's not a big deal. I'll get the reward. Woohoo! All right, two turns. Um, no biggie. This is actually too easy right here. If I shoot, it will punch or you know it'll go straight into the water. Um, but I, I do have the option of healing. I, I can like spend a turn to repair, and I could, but I think um, you're almost dead. So what if I just do you? Ah, and I was right. See, victory in one turn. There's no spawning, so I, I would have been without the uh, the extra little star if I hadn't reset that. Oh, you are so enabling high fun, Bell. I don't know if you know what you're asking for. I don't know if if uh, Bell. You hyphen had much chance to to interact on uh, in the chat of various twitches, but I think you you'll you'll get along beautifully. All right, well let's uh, spend this turn healing Bell. You see Bell, I'm doing something good for you. I'm going to heal you. I think. R. There. See. Now you're, you're, you're one better. And I'm going to push this bug into the ocean. Or the pond or whatever. I think you mean hot snakes, Bell. Alright, um, nothing else to do. Everything's dead. And our space is protected, so let's end the turn. Woohoo! Mission complete. Only the forest was damaged. Beck are not easily defeated, yet you put them down with flying colors. My compliments to the pilots. I agree. Reading the chat back scroll. Yup. Uh-huh. Yeah, you have to be careful with Hyphen. He he gets pretty out of control with the puns. I appreciate it, though. Uh, all right. Well, hey, we finished this one. Uh, we protected all the civilians. We got all the uh, various bonuses. So I think we're ready to continue. All right, yes, and this is what I was saying. We are done with the normal missions. Now we have to defend Corporate HQ from the boss, essentially. So, uh, that's all we have left. We can go here. Uh, we get bonus objectives for destroying the spider leader and then also protecting the corporate tower. Who here is ready to kill a spider? One of the Vec abominations, some sort of spider-like monstrosity, is approaching our headquarters. It and its spawn must be stopped. Oh, I remember the spider boss. He, or she, I guess, uh, lays eggs 
and then a bunch of spider babies pop out if you don't kill the eggs early enough. Yep. Spiders. Okay. Let's do it. Here are the cocoons of the spiderling eggs. Uh, what information can we get about them? It is immune to smoke. Okay. Uh, you can see from the little animation there, it looks like only one pops out, which is fine. Certainly better than more than one popping out. Um, and then this is the boss, Spider Leader. Um, I wonder if bosses are immune to water. Because we have a little bit of ice right here, but um, if we push it enough, we could push it right into the, the water, and that could be the end of the Spider Leader. Oh yeah, no, it says massive. Massive units can walk in water, but water will prevent shooting. Mm-hmm. Bummer. Oh, cool. Do you see how the eggs pop out of the, the spider? That's exactly how real spiders work, too, right? They just kind of... Alright, well, let's figure out where we want to put down our... Our people currently deploying Red Fox 128. Um, I mean, I like the idea of being close to the eggs. I could uh, punch or whatever, knock them into each other, and potentially knock it out. Though I think we really have to jump right in and try to take out the leader as quickly as possible because she'll keep putting out the eggs more and more. All right, well, let's put the mecha dude down there uh, maybe let's put the tank right next to it I'm thinking maybe I could shoot there and then again I like the idea of the artillery being able to pass around in the back let's give it a try oh no the spiders Ugh. Okay, so we have more babies being born. We have, um, so I would love to block this here. I think that's an easy choice to make. Um, the question is if I should do it with the mech? Probably, though I could also punch right here. Although if I punch it right here, what will that do? Will it actually move the leader? No, and it will kill it. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm more inclined to take out the other spider, though. What if instead I moved it there and then shot down? I think that would kill both of them. And then I could move with the mech over there. Yeah, let's just do this. Let's put you here and punch you so that you're blocking the back from spawning. Let's move you here and shoot so that you are both dead. Crunchy spiders. Oh, that's true. Charlotte was really the best spider. Like, there are no better spiders, spiders than Charlotte. That was one of my favorite uh, movies as a kid growing up. The old, like, animated. Yeah. Not so young that she didn't have babies, though. What about, uh, what about Spider-Man, though? Spider-Man is another... I mean, do, do you consider Spider-Man a spider? Cool, cool. Only three HP left on the boss. And only one egg being spawned this turn. Oh, and the, the boss is also going to get hit for the, for the piece of damage from the spawn being blocked. There we go. Only two HP. That means I can just punch it with my red fox and be done with that spider. All right. And, well, I would say, and I'd, I'd bump it over onto the, uh, the blocking space there. But I don't need to because... It's going to be dead. Woohoo! The spider mama is dead. So now I just have to take out the others. 
Um, how do I want to do this? I could push the spiders into the ocean. Uh, I could I, maybe I'll go here with this one and block the spawning effect with the egg, which will kill the egg and also prevent the spawn from happening. Yeah, I think I mostly agree with you, Red Fox. I don't think Spider-Man is really a spider. Probably doesn't count. Wait, Hyphen, you don't like Shelob? Why not? We have some pending attacks. Not really anything to be too concerned about, though. Um, I think, again, though, I will try to... Oops. Right there. I will try to lock the spawn, like so. And then, I mean... Attack like that. Don't really... I, I noticed my, my mechs did heal between the, the match, too, so I don't need to waste any turns healing them up. I did not realize that Aragog was a actual moving crop. I might have to uh, watch a YouTube video or something later on that, because that sounds really fascinating to, to figure out how they did that. Hmm. Alright, well... Um... Not really too much more to do, so I'm just gonna pass my turn, because that's all I need to do for this turn. Alright, you scarab beetle. Okay. Hmm. And we're on our last turn, so no more spawning. So, with that in mind, uh, it's pretty easy, I think. Just shoot you into the water. Let's use Bell to go and punch this bug in the face. And I think that's it. Hey Nighthawk, am I gonna stream during the week? Um, possibly. Um, I, I was wanting to do this sort of on the last minute as an experiment, uh, partly because of the Humble Bundle going away in a couple days. Um, I was going to kind of play it by ear and figure out if this works with this game, then I might do it again um, later on in the week, but I don't know exactly. I think I'll, I'll have a normal schedule once I get my normal computer, my, my regular new computer, because uh, then I can be a little bit more predictable about what games will work and come up with a, an interesting uh, content plan. But for now, it's probably going to be a little bit sporadic, but I think so. Um, I think so. I will be sure to post in all the places I, I have been posting uh, when I know for certain. If nothing else, this time on Sunday nights are usually pretty good. So if not sooner, this time next week, 8 o'clock or so central time will, will probably be a, a regularly recurring time. Thank you for asking. And then of course, also don't forget to follow uh, for anyone who hasn't followed yet. That will get you a notification anytime that I go live if you, you know, leave that little bell checked. All right, well, hey, we completed this with Vec, Ab Vec Abomination destroyed. No new hives should appear on our island. You've saved us. You accomplished every archive mission, an astounding accomplishment. Please, you and Riftwalkers accept this as thanks. Really hope it's a reactor core. Ooh, it is Gemini missiles, which I can put onto my artillery, it looks like. 
It is a new pilot. After attacking, gain one free tile movement. Ooh, that sounds really helpful too. And then two more grid. Oh, overpower grid. Your power grid is your power grid is full. Additional power will permanently upgrade your grid defense. Ooh. The bonus will decrease higher the higher your grid defense gets to a maximum of 20. 25 grid defense. I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is an incredible. The bonus will decrease the higher your grid grid defense gets. Huh. We'll have to see how that actually plays. Uh, I will definitely let you know, Nighthawk. Thank you for being interested. I appreciate you asking. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. It says select one free reward. See, I thought I was getting all of them as rewards. Oh. Well, in that case, um, launch two missiles, damaging and pushing two targets. Damage three. Ooh, three damage is pretty, pretty massive, but you can only use it once per battle. Hmm. However, moving after attacking sounds very good and she's at 24 of 25 experience too which means very close to being upgraded yeah i think bilbo bilbo and the dwarves were not too afraid of spiders were they All right, well, I'm not sure which one of these three to pick. Do do you have any suggestions? Any Anyone in chat have an idea? We can go with Gemini Missiles, a new pilot, which I'll rename, or the grid defense. Even though the grid defense sounds interesting, I'm inclined to not include that one because I think I'm going to be OK. Uh, I'm playing on easy, so it should not be difficult to, to keep our power grid relatively full. So between the missiles, missiles or pilot, which one should I pick? Oh, thank you, Cater. Yeah, I'm trying not to look at the viewer count because I, I heard that is uh, it can be intimidating, whether it's big or small. You're always thinking, and you know, I tend to overthink things. So I, I'm not paying attention to how many people are here, but I am loving all the people active in chat because that keeps me excited and engaged as well. Hyphen likes the missiles. Anyone else have a idea, suggestion? Missiles or pilot? Not that I don't trust Hyphen, but... Oh, and you're a Gemini, hmm. Mm-hmm. No worries, Cater. You're not making me nervous. It's just I, I, I did not realize how many people were here uh, viewing. Hello, everyone. My kids love Curious George. All right. Well, hey. Um. Well, Valaxel, Gemini shouldn't be trusted. Is that, are you? Is that your your official vote that I should go with the new pilot instead of instead of the missiles then? Have some chat controversy, chat traversy maybe. I wonder if. Let's see. Does anyone know? It is our is a poll something that you only get after your affiliate? Because I would expect that this would be something I could do in uh, Twitch Studio. But I do not see any way to add it. Hmm. Fully is filled in. Okay. Thank you, Blender Blending. 
Yay, I hope so. That'd be cool. Okay, um... Okay, well, I am gonna go with the missiles. I agree. Missiles sound cool. More firepower, more better. We got the missiles. Um, so now we have all this reputation, right? We, we accumulated the, the reputation over time by getting all of these stars. That's why I was trying to prioritize getting the stars at every one of these different regions that we were going through. Now we can spend the reputation. And we can do that to buy other things, like reactor cores. Remember, reactor cores are the coolest thing ever. Um, I have a bunch of stuff that I can donate as well to get additional reputation. Um, I could donate Bell Axel, but I don't have another pilot to take over, so I think I'm not going to donate Bell Axel. Um, that just seems like a bad idea. Um, I don't need to refill the grid power. I mean, I, I could, but I don't think I need to. I'm inclined, first of all, to get at least the first one. If I can do two, I can do two. Well, I'll do at least one, but what are these other ones here first? Rail Cannon. Projectile that does more damage to targets that are further away. Zero to two damage, though. I, I'm not crazy about the zero possibility. And the maximum of two? I kind of like the idea of it being a consistent one across the board, but I do see I can power it up with additional max damage. Oh boy. Okay, what's the other one? Shock Cannon. Fire projectile that hits two tiles, pushing them in opposite directions. It only does one damage. I mean, moving people are good, but that seems a little unpredictable. It seems like that could be a little tricky. Uh, if you're not careful with how you move these guys around, you'll knock them into cities and uh, allies, and then uh, basically, if you had this gun out and that's all you could do, you wouldn't be able to fire or you'd have to knock in people. And that's no good. Um, what about the light tank? Deploy a small tank to help in combat. That sounds pretty cool. It's kind of like my own little spider baby, except it can shoot things. I, I really like that idea, but notice it has a cost of two of the um, little uh, re reactor cores. Two reactor cores to deploy a tank. Hmm. That's pretty cool though. Vice Fist, grab a unit and toss it behind you. Huh. Ally, oh, ally immune, so I could toss my allies around. Okay. Well, I want that, because that sounds amazing. I also really like the idea of being able to toss a light tank around, but I don't like the idea of spending so much to do that. Well, here we go. I'm going to do two reactor cores. That leaves one left over. So let's grab the light tank, and maybe we'll see if we can figure out how to make it work. Continue! All right, so we have no more reputation on this island. It is completely defended. Let's leave the island. And now we can go through and pick another island. So we have the option here of switching to the Pinnacle Robotics, the RST Corporation, or the Detritus Disposal. Factory cities are devoted to waste removal and recycling. Um, notice that the threat scanner has dated. They're all pretty much the same uh, across, but each one has a special one now. Uh, so it's a lot of the same ones we had before, plus a little bit more. And then there is a different leader for each one. Um, I am going to go with the 
technical robotics because the dynamic with the ice, the melting of the ice and breaking of that over time can be pretty fun, pretty interesting, kind of mixing things up a bit. So let's pick that. Hmm. I've never gotten very good at a, uh, a GLaDOS voice. Um, hey, Hyphen also said Pinnacle Robotics. Wonderful. I meant to do that. Thank you. Uh, if you if you like hearing uh, good voices, like really swell impressions, um, sometimes not so good impressions, but still funny impressions, and also lots of funs, then go check out Hyphen. Uh, he... Uh, Actually, I don't know what your schedule is. I don't know exactly when you stream, but I'm always happy whenever I see Hyphen online. I'll go check him out and we'll chat. And he'll, um, whatever he's playing, he'll be doing voices and monologue that is just hilarious. It has me cracking up the entire time. So share some love for Hyphen. If you are enjoying of his puns, you'll probably enjoy his streams as well. Uh, if you do not enjoy his puns, then you should definitely not subscribe because that's that's even more. It is high fun in chat times a thousand. Woohoo! All right. Let's see. Let's try to embody my inner robot. Um. The humans. No, I can't do that. Um. I could do like just a very basic robotic voice, but that's just gonna sound like not appropriate for this ultra futuristic sort of robotic thing. So I think I'm just gonna not try the voices because uh, I don't think I can do that right now. Uh, the humans have employed, or the humans employed at Pinnacle are just as important as these sentient machines. We must stop the Vec to save all life. So they support uh, life of machines as well. Sentient machines. Pretty cool. So kind of like the other one, we have here the corporate HQ, which is defended. And then we have the other options on the board. We can see how we need to plan our route in order to get the most um, reputation. Uh, also notice this one has a, uh, a core available. We can get a reactor core if we complete this sub-zero range. It is high threat though, so it is going to be more difficult than the other ones that we've encountered, even more so than these other ones, which are not currently marked high threat. Um, however, I do notice it is 10.23 my time in my time zone, and I unfortunately have a hard stop at about 10.30. I have to go get my brother-in-law from work, so I don't know if we have a whole lot of time to continue playing this game, but I have had a lot of fun. Uh, I've really enjoyed playing this. I've really enjoyed chatting with you all as well. So thank you so much for making this fun for me and for checking out my stream for the first time. It's been really cool. It's been a blast. Um, yeah, so I don't know what to, let's see. Let me do one last call for uh, if, in case you have not already purchased this bundle that I'm trying to uh, hype for this particular uh, stream. Go check out the Humble Bundle. Um, they always do these really wonderful stream uh, bundles of games that you usually just kind of name your own price for. You get a bunch of games or books or videos or whatever. And this particular one, this Heal COVID-19 bundle, has a ton of really great games. Um, all for, in this case, $20 or more to unlock all the games. Um, if you haven't played Bioshock yet, like the original Bioshock, so good. Like, I don't like uh, jump scare type games. I don't like scary, like horror games that much. Um, and this is kind of like a first person shooter RPG with a really sort of creepy, scary vibe to it. Um, yeah, Bioshock is so good. And this is the remastered version that's included with this package. So uh, I won't be able to stream it because I'm confident that my computer cannot handle that and streaming at the same time. But you should absolutely get the bundle for that game, if nothing else. Um, Undertale is another one that is extremely popular. Um, I tried playing Undertale. I got a little 
ways into it and I, i'm just not sure it's for me i think it's a very particular type of game uh a very particular mindset uh you have to be in when you play it but maybe i'll give it another try some other time it could be fun to play with other people kind of sharing as we go um um what else on the list i haven't played hyperlight drifter but that looks super fun um tooth and tail i, I was uh sharing this with some friends earlier and they were saying that uh, Tooth and Tail is one of the games that's worth getting this bundle for. If you haven't heard of it yet, I don't know exactly what kind of a game it is. You check it out with your, uh, if, if you go to that link, click on Tooth and Tail, you can watch it. You are playing mice, lead the revolution with an army of flame-throwing boars, mustard gas lobbing skunks, and paratrooper puking owls. Wonderful. Tooth and Tail is a real-time strategy game featuring single player online competitive play split screen replays and more okay so this could be a game if you get this game we could check it out i could play it single player on stream and maybe we could do a co-op or uh, a competitive sort of game that could be a lot of fun uh saints bro is a game that you've probably heard of before but it's sort of a game grand theft auto-esque game with um even even more offensive. Like, if Grand Theft Auto offends you, you would not like Saints Row. Um, but it is that sort of genre of, like, you know, free exploring, do whatever you want, be, um, you know, kill, steal, do all that stuff. Um, haven't played it before, but it's, it's part of the package as well. Titan Ta Quest. Titan Quest is sort of, sort of the same genre of, like, uh, Diablo. Uh, where you have, you know, so above head RPG, sort of dungeon crawling sort of thing. Um, very cool. I was looking at Wargroove uh, earlier when I was thinking about games that might be fun to stream. I might check that out later. I haven't played that one before. Or Portal Knights. But that one's pretty good. Uh, it looks like it from the uh, little thing. Kind of like a Portal Knights, Portal Knights kind of looks like Minecraft in a way. Like a third person view Minecraft um, the, the, the things that they showed in the trailer, um, the, the like art that people have made, the buildings and castles, has that sort of vibe, uh, Minecrafty vibe to it. Um, Death Squared might also be a fun one to play on, uh, on stream, co-op with other people. Uh, it is a sort of puzzle game that you play by individuals moving their colored square around on the board. Um, so that could be a lot of fun. So we could have a really cool opportunity here for if multiple people here get this bundle, we could all play some of these games together in a future stream. So I'm thinking keeping a Sunday stream dedicated to playing a Humble Bundle game, uh, you know, something from this bundle to start and then maybe a future bundle could be a pretty cool theme night to keep with. Uh, what else? I think Dwarfs kind of has that um, Terraria vibe. I have dwarves. I tried to play it recently, actually, just a, a month ago, and it was kind of buggy. I'm, I'm hoping that they have got that updated now. But and also, if, if you have Terraria, I'm guessing you probably don't need to play dwarves. I, I don't know what the distinction would be. Oh man, I totally skipped over Super Hot. Super Hot is a lot of fun if you haven't played it before because the game only moves when you move. Uh, it is a first-person shooter. Yeah, it's a first-person shooter. But the, all the characters are all uh, like computer, uh, you know, like you're in this sort of uh, world where it's computer generated, sort of like a Tron feeling to it. And you're moving around, you're, you're trying to defend yourself, killing the other, you know, the bad guys. Um, but anytime that you, you know, shoot a gun, anytime that you move your character around, that is the only time the other characters move as well. And it's sing single player. And it creates this really interesting, like, you, you can very easily create a, a matrix-feeling sort of game where you're, like, shooting, and then you throw the gun and hit someone else in the head, and then grab the other person's katana, and then slice them, and then... And it, it's really interesting. It's, it's a very fun game. Yeah, I, I've heard that it's also a really great game to do uh, in VR. They have a separate... Or maybe maybe it's, it's part of the same thing, but they have a, a VR version that you put on... And then when you move in VR, it moves as well. I don't have any VR headset or anything like that, but so good. Um, and then 
Yeah, and then Bury Me, My Love was another one that uh, I'd mentioned at the, the beginning of the stream or somewhere in the middle, where uh, it, it's a game that is like a uh, storytelling, you know, turn, uh, kind of like a choose your own adventure type game, uh, where you're going through, interacting with your significant other through an, like a WhatsApp type app, sending pictures, texts, things like that. And you're navigating um, you're in Serbia, trying to get to kind of Central Europe. Sounds kind of interesting. I think it could be a lot of fun to play on stream as well, um, to kind of leave decisions up to chat, um, to kind of see where we end up together as a group. I think that would be a lot of fun. And then, yeah, there's after that, there's a bunch of other uh, books, uh, books on coping skills and things like that, which are uh, very timely, uh, very appropriate for a COVID bundle, I think. Um, I haven't read any of them before. I dig the... Um, the little uh, hedgehog book, though, that looks pretty neat. Very cute. Yes, high fun. I mean, I, I, you, you maybe have someone else that's significant to you in some way, but significant other. Yeah. It is kind of a dual person thing, not a single person thing. Uh, this current Humble Bundle also has some graphic novels. Lock and Key and Red Sanja, Sanya, which I, I haven't read either of those before. And then there's some uh, an interesting collection of uh, Microsoft software uh, from Ashimpu. Uh, I think I've recently heard about Backup Pro 14 or something like that for backing up, like moving stuff between drives. Uh, but I I don't I don't know. Um, and then there's a Music Maker Hip Hop Edition. Yeah, so I don't know. Like, I, I bought the game, or I bought this bundle purely because of the games and because of it, it being such a great cause. Uh, everything that you donate to the cause goes through to Direct Relief, uh, Doctors Without Borders, International Medical Corps, or Give India. And when you donate, you get the option of choosing how much of your donation goes to. So if you want all of it to go to one of them, you can set it up that way yourself. Um, and yeah, it is a great cause for a bunch of great games. So definitely check it out. And, uh, yeah, I hope that you all had fun tonight. I know I did take that line from Josh. Um, actually didn't mean to take it from Josh, but you know, I did have a lot of fun and I also hope you had a lot of fun too. Um, now let's over to see um, now who is over streaming. To um, let's see. So my friend Rachel is streaming right now, and she is playing Stardew Valley. She usually does Star Stardew on uh, Wednesdays. Oh, here we go. So here's another one of my uh, friends. Um, Wrath of the Badger is currently streaming Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, I had a ton of fun watching her play that the other night. Uh, I am ending stream, Red Fox. Um, do you have a raid suggestion? Thank you, Hi Fun. Thank you, Nighthawk. It's good to see you both here. Thank you, Blender Blending, as well. And Caterby. Caterb. Cater Trip. I'll get it right eventually. Sorry for butchering. All right, All right Red Fox, who do you recommend? Zero. I am not familiar with Zero. Check them out. Zero. Okay. Hi, fun. See, like I. I Okay, so studio, since I'm not playing the game anymore, which Twitch or scene, I guess it's called. Right? Oh, that's kind of awkward. It's not using my, uh, my right camera, though. Um, it's using my built-in Mac camera. Here we go. 
Um, cool. Uh, it says zero is online. Did I spell it wrong? Z-I-R-O, Red Fox? I went to twitch.tv slash zero. Uh, they look like they are not online right now. It's so funny. I have my, my screen set up, so I have my monitor behind me, and then I have my laptop on a stand sort of in front of the screen. And it's, it's pretty frequent that I'll have my laptop screen sort of like flipped down. And when I turn on the webcam, like on a Zoom call or something, it will default to my camera and my computer. So you'll get a great picture of either like my crotch or my keyboard all right here, which either one is pretty, pretty stupid. All right, VLRO. Got it. E L R O. All right, loading up the screen. Uh, it's sort of a finished attic space. Uh, it's my office. And that is a uh, like sort of a crawl space for boxes and things. So it, it is a um, a curtain, a curtain right there, and so you can put boxes back there and things like that. Uh, my windows are at either either ends of the room. Um. Oh, so VLRO is playing Destiny Two. Um, hmm, so I, I'm inclined not to go with this yet because, uh, I have an idea for, for a, uh, a series that I would like to start doing on, I think Wednesday nights, uh, after I get my computer, that, that is a, um, help a noob is what I, I'm, I'm thinking about calling it, where I invite or I, I play a game that I've never played before and I invite an expert to teach me the ropes of kind of jumping into it. So thinking like it'd be fun, fun for me jumping in, trying something new. You can make mistakes. We can all laugh together. But also both you and I can learn some things while someone who's played it forever can teach me. Um, at the top of that list right now is uh, my, my brother-in-law plays Destiny 2 and Warframe and you know, a few other games like that all the time. And he wants to uh, to teach me the ropes and teach me how to play. I want to be uh, fair with that and not do any, uh, I, like, I don't want to go in and it's like, uh, so I think I'm going to pass on this for now. In the future, absolutely yes. I like this idea. Um, oh, hey, fun. You, you can teach me... Um, You've taught me a lot about anime. I have thought about also streaming anime. Uh, like, hey, let's watch Watching Outlaw Star. Why not throw it on a stream? Obviously, I'm not going to be talking over it a whole lot. But if I'm already watching it, why not stream it? And other people could watch it too, maybe? Um, but, you know, you're, you're just watching your stream and, you know, talking about anime uh, for uh, for a bit, like, gave me a huge, huge of anime I had to check out. So. Uh, I think you could probably do an anime stream, teach me some more stuff about them. Uh, or or you could do a pun stream, perhaps? I don't know. I would, I would watch a pun stream, I think. Well, I had a hard stop at pretty minute mark. My brother-in-law actually hasn't told me he's done with work yet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and raid. Um, I don't have to find a rage or anything like that, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let's let's do uh, Wrath of the Badger. Really sweet, really chill stream. Um, it is mature, I believe, because she drops the f bomb. Totally fine, but just you know, be aware if that's not your thing. Then then that's gonna be a problem. But whatever. Um, so she is currently playing. Uh, Breath of the Wild. 
I think I know how to do the raid, so let's start it up, slash raid, and then... Thank you, Hyphon. Uh, we'll see if this works. Alright, jumping over. See you there. Be nice. Bye. Th thank you. Radiation is a cult. Because I know everything. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I'm good. Can we make her? He looks so dumb. You have arms for a reason, money. right there and you look 